sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming some media this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 Dude, that is freaking crazy. And you could probably say whatever you want. Dude, I, I'm, I'm glad you sent me this. Dude, you can say whatever you want about that. Uh, and I was actually kind of curious, actually, once we got to the end here, were these like all like an affiliate, uh, like Fox or ABC or CBS type affiliate studios? And no, I see uh, some Fox, CBS. I think I saw ABC in here as well. Uh, where was it? Uh, NBC there. That's crazy. So yeah, it, it's just, it's just crazy, man. It's, it's cookie cut. It's cookie cutter media. It's just copy and paste. Dude. Could you imagine being one of these reporters that like I do integrity work? Like I feel like I do good, good work. And then you're handed a fucking script. You don't know, even know what it is. And then you realize everybody else read the exact same thing. Almost like, it's just propaganda. So you, you talk about that, the local news channels, you know, doing all that. And then this past weekend, there were some things said at, you know, different campaign events or whatever. Uh, here's Tony Hinchcliffe. And then the next one will be George Lopez. A lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. People, people outraged at that joke, right? Making fun of a country? Like, that's racist? Talking about a country? Donald Trump said he was going to build a wall. And George Lopez said, you better build it in one day because if you leave that material out there overnight. Now, me personally, I like both jokes. I'm cool with it. I got thick skin, though. And you know what? I think George Lopez is a little bit more racist. Just slightly. Because it's actually directed at people. I mean, what do you think about Tony Hinchcliffe, George Lopez? This was the media's copy and paste narrative after, you know, kind of responding to Tony Hinchcliffe. The opening act, grabbing headlines for all the wrong reasons, a comedian who offered unfunny, racist, cringeworthy jokes. Basically calling Puerto Ricans trash the most repulsive racial jokes about Latinos. Disgusting and, and hateful. So incredibly crude frankly just too x-rated to play here extremely vile so-called jokes crazy they they all said that they all said the same thing they all didn't even show it they told you what to think this is why people don't trust the media and if you're thinking well maybe the media did talk about george lopez well if you search cnn george lopez you don't get a damn thing about it. it's all about the the, the Trump <clears throat> Madison Square Garden rally or our thoughts on it like AOC's, AOC's response this is like an old George Lopez from like eight months ago but it's all about Trump's Trump's there for CNN ABC uh, a year ago nine hours ago Joe Rogan and Kamala turned down whatever uh, why is the CNN this is a CNN video so, I mean, I don't know what's up with ABC. ABC News doesn't even get anything on here. MSNBC, Harris condemns Puerto Rico joke. Like, it, it's it's all about the Trump rally. No, there's no, none of them, there's no talk about the George Lopez comment, which is actually directed at people. It's crazy, man. 